All right, in this lesson, what we're going to look at is how to determine an angle from a trigonometric ratio. Um, what we looked at in one of the previous lessons is if we have a trigonometric ratio which comes from a special triangle, so related to the size of the 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree uh, angle triangle, uh, we can solve it without a calculator. However, what happens if we have ratios that don't come from one of those special triangles? So if you look in this first example, for example, what if it's tan theta is equal to 1.192? Um, so here's how we do that. To determine the measure of an angle from a trigonometric ratio, first of all, what we're going to do is calculate the measure of the reference angle. from the positive trig ratio. Secondly, apply the reference angle uh, to the appropriate quadrants. Talk about that, and we've actually um, talked about how, uh, how it affects it if the ratio is positive or negative based on uh, all students take calculus, or all of them, sine is positive, tan is positive, and cosine is positive. And thirdly, determine the measures of the angles in standard position. Here's what not to do. Um, in previous trigonome uh, trigonometry problems, you're only asked to get the answer between 0 and 90 because it was with a right triangle trigonometry. Um, so if you had something like sine theta is equal to 0 0.5, all you would do is take the inverse trig function, you do the sine inverse of 0 0.5, and I believe the answer is 30 degrees. Um, however, in this particular, so that's an answer, in this particular um, unit or chapter, what we're going to be doing is solving for all of the angles between, and here's the important thing, between 0 and 360 degrees. So we're not just looking for answers between 0 and 90. Um, <clears throat> so let me show you, for example, here, um, another possible angle that would work is 150 degrees because sine of 150 also has a sine ratio of 0.5. So there's actually more than one answer to most of these problems, as well as there might be a negative trig ratio. So um, we have to be careful not to just take the inverse trig function and assume that we're done. <clears throat> and we can also check our answers. So let's just look at two examples. So example number one says solve for theta between 0 and 360. So there's generally going to be two answers, in fact. That says for tan theta being 1.192. Uh, the first thing we want to do, or one of the things we want to do, is we know that tan is positive. So that means that we would anticipate having answers in quadrant 1 and quadrant 3, because that's where the tan ratio is positive. Uh, the next thing we want to do is figure out the reference angle. And the reference angle will be the tan inverse of 1.192. <clears throat> So the reference angle would be 50 degrees. So the last step, so it says calculate the measure of the reference angle, uh, apply the reference angle to the appropriate quadrants. That's what we're going to do. So let's apply the reference angle of 50 degrees uh, to both of these quadrants. So if we have a reference angle of 50 degrees in quadrant 1 or 50 degrees in quadrant 3, uh, the standard position angle would be 50 degrees. That's probably one of our answers, and we can check it. And our other answer would be in quadrant 3, uh, 180 plus 50 uh, would be 230 degrees. Let's go ahead and check if those are correct. Uh, the way you could check it is just find out if the ratio, the tan ratio of 50 and 230, is 1.192. So let's just check uh, tan of... 50, roughly 1.192, and tan of 230, also roughly 1.192. So there's two angles between uh, 0 and 360 degrees that have that tan ratio. Uh, the next example has a negative uh, trig ratio or a negative ratio. So sine theta is equivalent to negative 0.4848. So if we want to think about what quadrants that's going to be in, it's going to be where the sine ratio is negative. And the sine ratio is positive in quadrants 1 and 2. So it's negative in quadrants 3 and 4. So that's for anticipating answers. Uh, to figure out the reference angle, what we always do is take the inverse trig function uh, of the positive ratio. So I'm going to take uh, the sine inverse of 0 0.4848. That's going to give me the reference angle. <clears throat> and that is roughly 29 degrees. So your reference angle is 29 degrees. So if we apply that angle... 29 degrees to both of these quadrants. So here's 29 degrees, and here's 29 degrees as a reference angle. Our standard position angles that have those ratios would be 180 plus 29, which is equivalent to 
209 degrees. It's going to be one of our answers. And our other standard position angle would be 360 minus 29. And in that particular case, uh, your answer would be 331 degrees. Let's go ahead and just check those. Uh, in order to check those, again, what I can do is just take uh, the sine of both of those angles. So let's just take sine of 209. In that case, we do get roughly negative 0.4848. And let's also take the sine of 331. That's exactly the same, negative 0.4848. So those are our solutions to those trig ratios.